Welcome to the last session of the FDP on case studies of successful entrepreneurs of India by Professor A. Surya Narayana, my guru and mentor, retired from Usmania University. Sir has worked in many keen positions like Dean Faculty of Management, Chairman Board of Studies, Usmania University. Sir is the recipient of ICON HR Dronacharya Award in the year 2018 and Best Professor in Human Resource Management Award a global award from World Education Congress in the year 2012. Sir, you always inspire us with your zeal and passion towards your work. Sir has addressed yesterday on uh, rural development in India through rural entrepreneurship. Sir, it's our privilege to hear you again. We welcome you, sir. Sir, please unmute, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Suryana and sir, we are not able to hear you.
Am I audible? Am I audible? Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, oh, my God, my God. Uh, sir, audible, sir. Audible, sir. Audible. Audible. What about um, am I am I visible? Am I visible? No, sir. Oh, that is what. Okay. What about this? One second. But this is not the slides. The other set of slides. I told you. Close this. Yes. the first. Then second set. Few minutes. Oh, I'm already late. You got what, Dama? Okay. One, two, three, sir. Uh, Images, sir. Uh, one, two, three. Ah, uh, that is it. MGU, FDP, images one, images two, images one first. We'll come to this fast. Uh, keep okay. running. Let's stop. <coughs> Ravi Aluwala, a special request. Uh, <coughs> Me to focus on female female entrepreneurs. I have got dozen female entrepreneurs also. Close this. Go to Jugard. Go to Jugard. Oh my God. Okay, I don't mind going with this. All the three sets today itself together. Set one, set two, set three, same Gmail, both to Ravi Aluwala and also Miriala. Ramesh. Okay, till such time. I sir, sir, please give us one minute, sir. We are trying. Okay, okay. In the meantime, uh, if the attendees, the FDP participants are able to listen to me, let there be a quick recapitulation from my side, because we had multiple sessions in the last four and a half days. That is right from Dr. W.G. Prasanna Kumar to Dr. Chetan to Janayagaru to Professor A.V.R. A.V. Jadaradi is affectionately called as A.V.R. And Brigadier, then Murlidhar, then Ramesh, then K. Vishwana, then, then P.V.J. Kamurti yesterday. And also today we have got Nagaraju, who spoke exhaustively, extensively on aqua. Uh, everything is about everything about sorry, agricultural, agricultural entrepreneurship and uh, rural youth. So I'm hardly left with any room whatsoever to come up with the slides, the photographs, the videos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But still, I thought I can chip in by coming up with Jogad before I'm going to give you the real takeaways from this FTP, five day long, one week long FTP in the form of some principles that underlie. Yeah, now let us start. Now let us, let us begin. Keep it and then I think. Um, I need not be seen, if at all. Uh, okay, let me talk about this. Before I introduce to you a set of slides. See this? Jugad innovation. Go to the next slide. Next slide. I don't speak. You just watch what is happening. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Okay. Sveta, shift it. Go to the next one. Or you want me to speak? Example. Move this slide. Oh, someone has got to be there. Hello, uh, yes, next one. Are you not able to manage the slides? Hello? Sir, there is some issue with the, uh, with the files, sir. Now let I me I Let think me. it is moving, sir. Moving, moving. Oh, it is coming. Okay. I think. And now what? what? What is the next? Second slide. What is Jugard? Okay. But you are not able to. Okay. Shall I speak? Yes, sir. Please. 
Okay. Um, my dear participants, sorry very much uh, for the technological glitches and hitches that we have encountered today, unfortunately. Let me give you a brief outline of the primary distinguishing characteristics of any successful entrepreneur, be it uh, rural or otherwise, man or a woman. Okay, now that's it. Example, speaker after speaker, resource person after resource person, they talked about one characteristic hallmark an attribute, a personality trait that really made him successful, very much effective in his domain. For example, people talked about adaptability, they talked about courage, creativity, curiosity, yeah. empathy, safety, growth yeah. mindset, yeah. seeking. Yeah, yes. Or right. 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 persistence, grit, persuasion, or suasion, some people call it. Passion, problem solving, positivity, receptivity, redefining the failure, resourcefulness, and many more things like self motivation, self direction, self control, emotional quotient, self regard, tenacity, perseverance, patience, vision, etc., etc., etc. For example, coming to adaptability, you have to make smart changes whenever you encounter challenges. You convert an adversity into an opportunity whenever they are going to arise. Don't lose hope that what I was telling you. Don't lose your heart. Don't give up. Don't give in. Similarly, you need to have courage. Yesterday I was talking about you dare to step out of the comfort zone. Unless you come up with the faith, you will never be able to accomplish your, uh, uh, your objectives or great things in life. Creativity, of course, we have been talking about it. Bringing something new into being is creativity. Bringing something new into use, application. Day-to-day -day use is going to be called as innovation. That is my way of looking at creative innovation. Uh, and curiosity, Vimukhanti was talking about the thirst, the thirst, the hunger, the passion, the fire, the curiosity to know something, the fresh perspective, a new insight, a new orientation. That is going to be very much important. That comes to you only when you are curious in your attitude. Empathy. Another way of looking at it is understand the pain points, the pulse points, the feelings, the problems, the issues of the people, of the customers, of the rural folk before you are going to come up with a solution, an answer, a remedy. Similarly, flexibility. Nothing is ever predictable in business because in a VUCA world, when you are going to have everything volatile, uncertain, complex and complicated, intricate, delicate, ambiguous, don't have uh, plans uh, because you need to be flexible. That's going to be flexible because anything can happen. Business vicissitudes, business oscillations and vacillations. These things are going to come like a bolt from the blue. So you have to be very careful about it. Growth mindset. If you want to really travel in the growth path, you need to have a growth mindset. That's how it is going to be. You are going to sharpen your mind, garner, marshal, deploy your resources. Then only you are able to achieve something. Opportunity seeking is going to be one more thing. Keep your eyes wide open. Keep your ears also open. Keep your antennas up in the sky. Keep your ears to the ground. Then only you will be able to actively observe. You will be able to identify. You will be able to seize the opportunities. When they knock at your door, please open them. When they don't come to you, you create yourself one opportunity. Optimism, dynamism, one more characteristic hallmark. Be hopeful. Be confident. Be competent. Ability to innovate. If you do not innovate, you evaporate. Ah, I think now you have got Okay, see this uh, slide. What is Jugaad? Just understand for yourself. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Yes. See this, the gentleman's creativity for, for his day to day rural problems. I, I'll, I'll comment on this later. I'll comment on this later. Then the, see the bricks. See the bricks. How many bricks? We think even uh, half, half a dozen will be difficult to see how many counts, but you can't even count them now. Go to the next slide. Go to the next slide. Uh, next slide. Next slide. Stop it there. Stop it there for some time. Now you have seen the pictures. I will be showing you many more, many more, many more in the next set of slides. But uh, uh, stop here. Six you got principle. Stop here. Now behind all these creative solutions, because 
behind all these innovative uh, uh, answers to your day-to-day -day problem for your pain points uh, i think your solutions your products your services that so many speakers have talked about they are going to make use of any one or more or all these six principles one is good enough it is going to be necessary three condition two better three more the merry what is it that you have to do? One Khatarnak principle is going to be is seek an opportunity from adversity that I was telling you yesterday. Second thing is some professor, some resource person has talked about more with less and for many, for many more, for many more things. That's a MLM principle that he talked about. I'm using it differently. Do more with less. No slippage, no seepage, no leakage, no damage, no evaporation, no redoing the work. That's how you are going to make your operations economical. Then you become efficient. That's how it is. Given the output, you are able to minimize the input. That is going to be principle two. Third thing is going to be you are going to think and act flexibly. Just uh, stop the, at that point. Flexibility, elasticity, adaptability. You must be in a position to adapt yourself. Before you adopt any new technology, first of all, you adapt yourself to those things. You keep it simple. Don't complicate. Simply fly. When can you simply fly? When you can simply fly. Simplify first. That is the fourth principle. Fifth principle is going to be include the margin. You have to have some sort of whatsoever, maybe the uh, turnover. You need to have some margin for yourself. This is going to be the beauty of uh, the Jagad principle, the Indian version of innovation. The adage is innovate or evaporate companies, farmers, entrepreneurs, enterprises that do not innovate. They get incinerated. That is, they get burnt out. The last principle is follow your heart. Ultimately, don't go with your dream. Don't go with your wife's dream that you had had yesterday night. But go by what your, what your heart speaks. Not the technology always. Not the customer always. Not the market always. Not the product always. The service always. Sometimes you may have to go by the gut feeling. That's sort of way. The gut innovation. The gut creativity. That is the more important. Go to the next one. I think you got principles. Next, next slide, next slide, next slide, next slide. This is going to be a beautiful, you can read for yourself. I'm going to leave behind all the PPTs, no copyrights, all copying rights. You can always copy this one example. You can read for yourself. When you cannot afford a product, the rural masses, then you do that. So this is how it is, do more business. So last slide, last slide. Let me spend one minute on that. One minute on that because we are running out of time. That's, that's how it. That's how it is. Integrating Jogad into your organization is going to be ultimately. Now you may be wondering when the topic is going to be successful stories of rural entrepreneurs, why Professor Suranarana is boring us with all these slides. Now, whenever, wherever anybody talks about success, efficacy, effectiveness, efficiency, and then uh, uh, what is that, what is that, what is that hit in the marketplace in rural areas, understand behind all these success stories, box office hits, heroes and heroines, there is one Jugard principle that you try to identify. If you can really find out a Jugard principle for your product, for your service, for your offering at the rural market in rural areas, I think you have succeeded. This is going to be one thing. I think this is what I want to say. Sveta, please close. Go to other images. Other images. I have to link them up. I have to link them up. Go to the other one. Go to other other slides. Ah, Jugard. You will enjoy because people are interested in photographs. Ah, this is it. Please go to the next slide. Let me Ah, next, 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 next slide. Ah. Yesterday, I was telling you, the West now has come to a state where they are going to imitate ape and they are going to look to India. This is the message that I'm giving this. This is going to be one thing. Now, see, next slide is going to be Jugad is a Hindi word. Don't waste much time. That this is called Jugad innovation. That is it. It is the result of using Jugad's ability, Jugad's principle to solve problems, business problems, and innovate, not simply imitate other. That is going to be hard. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Next one, because uh, I've got a lot, lot more, because the success story is more important. Next slide. Next slide. Stop there. Next slide. Ah, I'm only trying. Just, just down, down, down. Ah, 
uh, I mean, up, 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 not up. Uh. See, it is not as though oh, we alone have got this concept called Jugaad in India. For example, in China, a local, a vernacular term for this is Juju Chuangjin. In Brazil, Gambiara. In USA, do it yourself. In a number of do it yourself videos are there, books are available. Okay, best sellers are there. It's going to be you. Do it yourself. In Africa, it is going to be Joa Kali. In France, it is going to be System Edda. That's a da. Next slide. Next slide. Very simple. Next slide. Next slide. I see this. Next slide. Ah, keep it. Keep it for a few seconds. You know what you are able to understand from out of this. People have come up with a, such a brilliant idea. See the ingenuity of the idea behind people who ever wanted to go for a solar power project. They are thinking in terms of a canal, a stream, a pond, a river, a rivulet, anything. Oh, so that's where exactly, or even a sea or an ocean, where you are going to have this so that the the water is not going to get evaporated, whereas you are able to draw solar energy from the sun. Go to the next slide. Go to the next slide. Next slide, next slide. Of course, this sort of a thing in deal. Go to the next slide. Next slide. Ah, just stop, stop, stop for a bit. Now, uh, it's so very common. Seven seater uh, autos have come now. It's out of the day in most of the major cities. Uh, in Delhi, we used to have tuk tuk. We have now, we are going to call it a seven seaters in Hyderabad. So very popular. It's only thing is uh, auto concept. Uh, when you are going to enlarge the size, uh, increase the seating capacity, it is going to accommodate seven people, 10 people in Hyderabad. And then one beside uh, the driver also, left hand side, one person, right hand side, one person. And where Luggage is supposed to have been kept there. Also, some people are going to be there. This is the beauty. And then you are going to fix a wooden plank immediately behind the driver. You are able to accommodate another four people, five people. This is the Jugaad, Indian Jugaad. Just the, it, sometimes it can be not necessarily uh, an auto. It can be a two-wheeler engine also. A motorcycle engine also is going to be coming. Just stop here for a few seconds. Don't change the slide. Now, there was a time years ago, Ratan Tata, he has requested all his CEOs, all his GMs, AGM, DGM, the members of the top management team to think of, to conceive, to conceptualize, put in black and white, design, develop and deliver one car, small car, compact car for this middle class people uh, in such a manner that is not going to cost a fortune. It is not going to cost more than one lakh. People, immediate, initial reaction they came up with was na na, no no. So from na na Hindi, no no English, it has become na no. That's how it is going to be. It is going to cost you just two thousand dollars American dollars. That's how it is going to be jugaad. Now go to go to the next one. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Next slide. Go to the next slide. Next slide. Ah, keep it for a few seconds. Now, I think uh, I'm not the only person. All, as I told you, my hands are tight. People have already used these PPTs. Uh, see, down below, small, small pictures are going to be there. Somebody comes up with uh, uh, some sort of a raft or a cycle like thing, which is going to take you from one end to the other end on a stream or a river, rivulet, etc., which is going to be something like that. This girl, her this of walking, running, jogging, you are uh, treadmill. It's also going to be you are cycling at the same time. You are, you are, uh, linen are getting uh, getting cleaned and washed. That's how it is going to be. This is called as uh, amazing inven inventions have come from India. Taking one clue, one clue from other ideas, how you are able to apply, how you are able to apply. So that pedaling, the cycling for a different purpose altogether. When in India, in Punjab, people could, uh, Sardarjis could really use washing machine for the purpose of coming up with, uh, what is that? Uh, um, uh, buttermilk. Huh? Uh, um, I forgot the word. Forgot the word. So that's a, it could be for use for juices, could be for buttermilk, could be for anything else. Lassi, I got the word. Lassi, that's how it is going to be. And this is how you are going to, you are going to have this. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Then we go to the topic. I link it to the topic. Next slide. Ah. Joseph's tree climbing machine. 
I think somebody has uh, very elaborately he discussed not only for the trees but also uh, electric poles. Somebody has done it. Somebody has done it for round shaped poles, huge ones. Uh, and the principle is more or less the same. And down below you are going to find so many other examples also, which other resource persons have already used it. Go to the next one, ma'am. Go to the next one. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. I don't know what what the difficulty in. Uh, the, I think I converted them a word. I convert them to word. That is the problem. Next slide. It is something beyond God. It is going beyond God. Next one. Over. Next one. Next one. Next one. Yeah. Uh, ah, this is the one. What is what is this? this is amazing invention that is here. This gentleman whom you are able to see, maybe shot, maybe. The size of the picture is very small. He is going to demonstrate his invention called as electric painting brush. That is, it is not necessarily with the help of a manual. It's not a manual operation alone. It can be made an electric operation where you use the power, use the plug and the wire, and then it's going to be doing it. So that's going to be a beautiful idea that the gentleman has got. Next one. Next one. Because the time is already reduced half an hour. And then this is it. Next slide. Next slide. Ah, I don't want to um, uh, waste much of my time. The one that you're able to find, that's, which is going to look like an oven, it's not the one. It is the meter cool. Somebody has given to you day for yesterday, cool refrigerator. It's going to be affordable refrigerator. That's what it is going to be. And this gentleman could really come up with a non-stick coated cooking tower because it basically was a potter. With the clay, he's able to do it. He's able to come up with a cooker. He's able to come up with a water filter. He's able to come up with a foot plate, bowl, cup, all those things. He was able to come up with lamps. So this is the beauty of this principle called as from out of clay, you are able to come up with products which are inexpensive, which are affordable, available, accessible, and then which anybody can you know, uh, effortlessly you are able to enjoy. Uh, um, is no longer a luxury. So that's how it is going to be. The cost is going to come down drastically by almost 80%. Uh, can you imagine this sort of thing? Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Next slide, Jugard Innovation. Uh, slowly, slowly up. Uh, uh, keep it, keep it for some time. Now, it is at this stage, <coughs> it is nothing new to you because during Corona times, uh, Delhi government, other governments, central government, some of the state governments, they have really converted the bogies, Indian railways, uh, bogies, maybe second AC, third AC, all these things into Corona, uh, um, corona care centers. So that, that's how it is. If uh, Indian Railways are going to abandon some of these containers, they call them cargo containers, they need not go waste. They don't need to get dust, uh, get uh, rusted in the process. See, what you are able to see, you are able to find out. Home appliances, office appliances, all these things, uh, they can always be made with the help of uh, such things, uh, such abandoned wagons. All these things are available in Wikipedia. All these are available in videos. Uh, that has YouTube uh, videos, etc. Go to the next slide. Go to the next slide. Mm, next slide. This is how it is. Very popular, popular name. I think one gentleman has given us the uh, video clipping of this particular gentleman. How it is multifunctional. How you can use it for multiple purposes in agricultural agricultural field is not too high. Water. It is going to be cotton harvesting. Cotton harvesting used to be so laborious, arduous, if not hazardous. Now you are able to have it with the help of one machine. You are able to do it all yourself. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Next one. Then I go to success stories. All. Uh, next slide. Slowly. Next slide. Next slide. Ah, what you find, you may not be able to make out anything. What this gentleman is doing is aloe vera. This is a very popular medicinal plant, which in most of your homes you are going to be having it. How you can process without wastage? That is what he is demonstrating there in his village, his rural folk. This is going to be a beautiful way. And uh, and of course, other stuff there. This is what his name is Dharmavir Kamboj. So that, that's how it is. Innovator. He's explaining to all his uh, village uh, people, uh, folk uh, in the village. Uh, maybe I don't know which is, I think it's Madhya Pradesh in India. Madhya Pradesh in India is like 
You go to the next one. I think means that that means we can stop. Abdul Rahim. Sir. Next one. Ah, this is it. Generally, whenever we studied about textile industry as a process industry, you are going to have cotton being procured and then the seed has got to be removed, the ginning, the weaving, the dyeing, uh, all sort of things. Uh, uh, the, um, so this is going to be a huge one, especially the cotton process that you are going to have. Factors Act of 1948, you must have studied how workmen uh, have got to be very careful with regard to that because it's going to be hazardous. It's very risky. It's going to be very dangerous. That's why here, this gentleman, how effortlessly you can separate the uh, the cotton from its seed is being demonstrated there with the help of a machine which looks very safe, which is in, in, innocuous. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Ah, uh, next slide. Uh, what this... Uh, uh, Keep it, keep it for a few seconds. There is a gentleman by name Amit uh, Amit Agrawal. He has come up with innovative product, innovative pulley, which is going to have its own breaking mechanism. Heavy water bucket. Bucket is, for example, manually, it's very, very difficult for you to lift so many things, especially for the women folk, especially when they are pregnant, especially when they're, they're basically, they are weak. So then from the well, if you have to draw the water, it is going to really sap you of your energy. That is not going to be the case any longer. This gentleman is going to come up with an innovative pulley with the breaking mechanism because whatever you want, wherever you want, and then that is the beauty of this. I think we are coming to name one more. Ah, one more. I think that's the last one. Maybe I don't know. One more. Sl next slide. Next slide. I go to lessons. Next slide. Mm. Ah, this is for you to read later on. Leisurely, it's all about Mumbai Airport. These people have got a beautiful idea of coming with pillars and fiberglass rooftops for the construction of a home, a commercial complex, a residential complex. The entire Mumbai International Airport has been done like this. All engineering aspects are there, and the architectural features are going to be there. You see how much of innovation has gone into that, and then uh, reading is believing. You read it later on. Later on, it is LNT, Larson and Two Bros. Ingenuity, their engineering capability. Number one, the country is going to be LNT, including our Metro Hyderabad, the LNT people. So that's how it is. Now, don't bother about next slide. Next slide. It's only going to be a gentle reminder that our own Aadhaar card. See the ingenuity that is involved there. See the brilliance that is going to be involved there. A person who was working for Infosys, he resigned, picked up a government of India, and then see a three billion. 3 billion, very ambitious, very, very ambitious project, extravagant project was almost is getting completed only because of the fact that the tech, the software is great, the hardware is great, the idea is great, and everything is wrapped up in a beautiful, innovative product called as an Aadhaar card. You read all the details later on. Last one. Konkan Railway, I don't want to go into this. Konkan Railway also, it's a great engineering marvel. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Sir, you are taking us to urban areas and metros. No, I will take you to the rural area once again. See this in our own home, in the backyard, front yard, side yard. You are always going to have the uh, capacity. You have the idea to really have biogas units and plants. These are portable. And nothing, your kitchen waste need not go waste. The vegetable cutting also that need not go here. So you can always use this plant energy, so to say, the converted food energy, the food wasted energy, wasted food energy. Sorry, you, you can into, you can use it for your cooking purposes. That is your for your gas stove, for flame, for cooking, for heating, for boiling, for any of these things. You can always do it. That is the power of biogas can use. Go to the next one, and then we'll, we'll stop there. Uh, and uh, next one. I don't need to speak anything about it. If I use the word Jaipur, Jaipur foot, Jaipur leg, we come across dozens and dozens, hundreds of people who are going to, or they are no longer going to be handicapped. They are no longer going to be challenged physically. Thanks to Jaipur foot leg, which is affordable, which is available to one and all. That is a beauty of it. You no longer go to five-star corporate hospitals and spend a fortune. This is it. So Jaipur. Next one, I think that's the last one. That's it. Over. Next one, we'll stop there.
<clears throat> all the webinar attendees, FDP attendees can do it. And then now let us go to the topic. Let us go to the topic. Why should we go to the topic? Because Ravi Oliwala, he said that. Close it. Close it and go to success stories. Go to success stories. The one that you opened in the beginning. Uh, yes. This is the background. I'll, I'll, uh, this is the background. This is the background for them. Now, the homework for you. Just keep it for a second. Keep it for a second. Now, this is the homework for you. One, because we are running up to time. I, I'll take another uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes. What is it that you have to learn? The takeaways from out of these PPTs, these five-day FDP, the essence of it, the quintessence of it, the gist of it. Uh, Gita Saram, you have read Mah Mah Bhagavad Gita, but in few sentences, what is going to be the essence of Gita, essence of Ramayana, essence of Mahabharata? Same is the case. The essence of FDP is going to be encapsulated in the next few slides. Just bear with me. Now, because you said the ladies, I have got with me Jyoti Reddy, Prema Gopalan, Kalpana Saru, Gina, Joseph, Anuradha Agarwal, not Anuradha Podwa, Ekta Jain. Uh, Gunamati Chandrasekharan, Godavari, Satpute, Sabita, Tamurai, uh, any number of people. A dozen ladies are going to come now. Just you need to have patience to really understand their success stories, how they could find themselves in the growth path because of a creative idea and an innovative product. Go to the next slide. Go to the next slide. Next slide. Yes. Now, this gentleman, only you have to bear with me. One or two people are going to be there. I think, uh, ladies, 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 ladies. Ah, okay. We'll come to that later. Um, so, sorry for, uh, because I have removed because you want uh, Bhai Patel, the person in the front whom you are able to see is a gentleman. Go to the next slide. The, this gentleman. He could come up with the next slide. This is only to... Uh, 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 this is going. Uh, this is good. This is the story in brief. This, uh, this is going to be case let. Uh, this gentleman we used to have Chetak. So he called this as a Chetak. He has come up with an agricultural, uh, uh, a mechanical appliance, so to say, an electrical appliance that you say, uh, which is going to be used for agricultural operations. You don't necessarily have to have a tractor, which is going to cost you lakhs of rupees. Uh, so this is going to be the one. So he has done it, uh, and then uh, each slide is going to be talking about uh, the fact that uh, all of them are going to have rural roots. They are born in rural families. They were born, brought up, lived uh, everything, the loud rural areas, and then that's how it is. But the only thing is, they at, a, at a particular point of time, they encountered an adversity, a trouble, inconvenience, discomfort, discomfiture, inconvenience. So, so that how they have overcome, they have come up with this uh, this other thing. Go to the next one. Same gentleman to once again remember his face. Go to this. His name is Manush Bhai Patel. You must have, when I was speaking, you must have read this slide. Go to the next one. Ah, this is going to see how looks rustic village, as if you say so, so rural. The face itself is going to lower. You could have the uh, see luxury, privilege, proud privilege of meeting President of India and getting the gold medal from him only because though he's a farmer, no formal education. No formal education. How it is? Kobrigade. Uh, Go to the slide. Kobrigade. That's how it is going to be. He's from Maharashtra. He's an agricultural entrepreneur. So yesterday, I think one resource person has already talked about uh, the hybrid variety of rice that he has uh, come up with. Uh, it is called HMT rice. Uh, now, which is going to be used. Am I audible? HMT rice uh, that yielded 80% more when compared to the conventional varieties. Hello? Confirm. Hello. So, so you are audible, but, but no slides are not visible. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know. You don't. That's not. Uh, that is uh, your end. That's not my end. So that's how it is. The slide that you're. Ah, uh, go to the next slide. Next slide. Uh, this gentleman. Next slide. I talked about him. Maharashtra family, and then the Chetak. Go to the next one. Sorry, no, sorry. HMT, not Chetak. Next slide. Slowly move it. I think you. Uh, I should not have done it. I I converted the PPTs for editing purposes into Word. That that's that's why here maybe your software, your your computer is going to be. If you can go, excellent. Okay. Otherwise, uh, listen to me. I think you have to see because uh, I have found the participants always the liking photographs, uh, these pictures and videos and things more. That's why I made an understatement. Mm. Move. 
possible move ah this is going to be the gentleman go to the next slide hmd bread rice go to the next one all ladies are coming a dozen ladies are coming next slide i say the sweta herself being a woman i have to be uh, a pro pro sweta her gender next one slowly next gentleman that you would be seeing on the screen is going to be chintakind malaysham so he is he is the person ah, next one next one next one so only repetition ah next one you are not able to do it next one next ah this gentleman could go that gentleman the farmer you see see now in white white shirt clad in white shirt and then trousers and belt etc spectacles next one ah next one next one so this this gentleman this gentleman you know, though he has discussed the schooling no studies everything but he could really come up with uh, uh, a mechanized process uh, for manual operation that's how it is ultimately as one of the god principles uh, anything that is going to reduce uh, that is going to bring about a dip a drop a reduction a diminution so to say in the human effort in the human energy your sweat your blood that is going to be very much important is going to jugad which is going to make it to a bare minimum next one next one see he was how he was taking the gold medal i think he was given padma shri or something manish oh my god otherwise i give the i speak i have to speak theory are you able to um to do something take the help of some techni technology tech tech savvy tech savvy guy anybody ramesh miryala himself is tech savvy hello kailash katkar sir sir uh, please some issue with the uh, system sir your your side uh, 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 please, then please, i have sent the same slides uh, uh, some two three days ago three, uh, maybe uh, maybe now same slides almost uh, before editing i sent it uh, if you can open that also is available uh, that i have sent it to ravi i think Or, or both of you, same slides I must have given. If this set is not opening, so tinker with that. Otherwise, I talk something in general, and then we'll wind up the show. <clears throat> Because I want to uh, show you all the ladies, uh, their photographs and what they have done. Uh, that's it. So I think some some set of things. Yeah, uh, is the Malaysia? That's what I completed. Go to the next slide. See. kailash because interested as a promised go to the next slide ah he is he is the person he invented that he took the prize also from uh, pranam mukherjee when he was the president of india next slide next slide all innovations more interested ah what is what is great about uh, kailash katkar this is he is a maharashtrian he is from maharashtra and then uh, um, he um, we have always talked about his rural background but he could Uh, succeed in coming up with uh, it services uh, he has uh, started an academy called as cad computer services uh, now all over india people are going to recognize identify kailash katkar as uh, the founder chairman of uh, quick heal technology see the name that he has given later on that's how it is going to be see uh, a small uh, modest background with frugal this thing uh, finances how he could really come up with an enterprise which is going to give you uh, 1200 uh, employment opportunities the, the workforce size is to about 1200 now and 17 billion million people are going to be, uh, is going to be the the customer base my god that means here he is able to uh, is able to offer very affordable it services that's how it is going to be that that's called as a, a technology is a quick heal technologies go to the next slide more interested same ah mustafa 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 must <clears throat> ah so that, that that's it see having born in a family which was looking after the plantation coffee plantation this gentleman he went abroad i think uh, this this gentleman he did this national institute of technology uh, and then 
he went to manhattan and see the prices that he has got it with the rural background this this is this is this is one thing and uh, he thought about uh, this immediate instant idli so uh, the mustafa is known for that he is going to be known for that you know, you have to have a modest investment of 25000 rupees and have the small machine and it's going to give you that idli platter uh, batter sorry and dosa batter and then uh, take it home and you have your own idli you have your own dosa that's how it is going to be such a huge hit in the market and you can't believe now how many people are going to working the turnover is has surpassed long ago 100 crores this is the in from idli go to the next one go to the next one jyotiri idli go to the next go to the next one. I next one this is one repetition go through. See how she is able to so very proudly she was juxtaposed to our Abdul Kalam ji because uh, she is a fifth child, a lady. I know her. I she came to Varangal. I think I, I happened to be there in one of the events. I forgot when and where and how I met her, etc. She gave a presentation. Uh, Hyderabad itself, one of the five star hotels. Uh, I went there, baby Taj Krishna. So she 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 went abroad. She used to say how I used as a child, I used to look at the uh, aeroplanes and uh, she herself could go to overseas, she could go to the USA, she stayed there, she came back, she set up this business. Uh, and uh, it is now worth the US dollars 15 million. Jyoti Rekhi, those ladies. Now all are one more gentlemen and then, then ladies. Go to the next slide, running up to time. Nyanesh Pandey. Nyanesh Pandey is once again. Also, why I'm telling is, it's from remote village. You don't need to have any apprehension, any doubt. Only people born, brought up, studied, lived, loved, married to uh, urban people, being urban. So, urban are bringing alone is going to fetch you successes. No, he is from he is from uh, Bihar. Think of the most most undeveloped state of uh, India, Bihar. He grew up, and the subsequent how he is going to do that. Uh, see, he is he is into power systems, uh, and the name is Hus power systems uh, hps uh, is not hyderabad public school that he could really be the founder member go to the next one i'm going to go to now i go slow from now onwards after pandey sahab but ah just keep the five powerful women entrepreneurs who are empowering rural economies i could some go to the next slide uh, these are the people i'll show you the pictures later on one lady name is prema gopalan must obviously from tamil nadu kalpana saroy gina sosef anuradha agarwal ekta jaju see you are able to see them. one two three four five in that order i could really capture their pictures now see them once again prema gopalan kalpana saroy gina joseph anuradha agarwal and ekta jaju see this what she has done See, Prema Gopalan from Latur, Maharashtra, devastated with that Latur earthquake. So that, that's how it is. What she could do? She started, she started SSP. What is SSP? Swayam Shiksha Prayog. That is, I think, uh, it's something to do with the learning language. Hindi, English, uh, or local, Varnagi, Marathi, Telugu, Kannada, something like that. Uh, she could really convert this particular uh, um, uh, app or whatever, um, one language, another language. Uh, so that's something like learn Telugu in 30 days, Kannada in 30 days, something like that. She could really come up with this. Uh, all women uh, folk uh, in the rural areas, they come together, they uh, spend some time, they learn a language, that's how it is going to be. That's how it is. They and naturally, automatically, you are going to become that much literate when you're able to know a different language altogether. That's how it is. So these women, in turn, they get empowered because they are going to face challenges day in and day out, 24 and 7, 365 days, maybe livelihood, maybe energy, maybe health, maybe sanitation, maybe hygiene, maybe agriculture, maybe food, maybe water, maybe energy, etc., etc. All these things are there. Second one, Kalpana Saroy. Go to Kalpana Saroy. Next slide. Next slide. Ah, stop there. Oh my God. CEO of 112 dollar million company. What is this? She is able to inspire so many people. That's inspiring a raga, a saga, a journey of hers. And you see that she has really taken up and understand she's the Dalit woman. She was born as Dalit child. And so, so that subject is she could get that coveted Padma Shri, which you and I with the doctorate and postdoctorate, we cannot do it. She could get it in the year 2013. That's that subject is. That's how. That's how. It's, it's all happening because of the physical abuse. Because when she was beaten up by her abuse, by her in-laws themselves, black and blue, I think she took up the cudgels again, and then she has really taken up the challenge, and she has gone into this sort of a thing. What she has done? 
she is uh, uh, village people to have succeeded this is our dream that that's how it is going to be i think uh, she is now the president the, the the ceo the director of a company which is called as kamani uh, or uh, tubes i don't know how to pronounce it so it is the tubes is it tubes next slide next slide <clears throat> forgot uh, but, uh, joseph this is joseph uh, that's our player. it is going to be something to do with uh, jewelry need not have to cost you crores and millions and lakhs of rupees uh, now i think she is into the jewelry platform jola and then it's all she is able to uh, ensure that the middlemen are not going to be needed any longer and she herself has come up with a platform and she is going to she is going to is not really gems is going to be uh, in the in, in, in uh, what is the sense uh, figuratively speaking she could really work with rural artisans she has realized that the uh, oh much of talent is there creativity is there why don't you convert this creativity and convert it into innovative product that's how she has chosen so this how it is palm leaf etching all about our hand looms hand crafts you were um, what is that in andhra pradesh you are going to have that uh, lakapettalu or maybe you were um, all, all all those things puppets somebody is going to make some somebody is going to doll somebody is going to be making hyderabad bangles are going to be there hyderabad the pearls are good, something like that this could be all all about that what is that next one next one after jina next next one next slide next slide i'm finished because we can't read uh, anuradha 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 when she visited had gone back to her village home town she saw she she has come up with some sort of a problem and growing insecurity among women people of her age mostly housewife due to lack of english that they are not able to converse in english follow english or a uh, read english speak english so she could really come up with this sort of a thing and she has she has saw, um, she has seen to it that no woman no lady is ever going to suffer from low esteem low self confidence low self competence just because you are not able to speak in english that stage fear that fright she could really over, she make she could make them to overcome because of her product so this how uh, multi bhashi i think she has come up with a, some sort of an app next slide next slide multi bhashi that's how it is now she is able to use this app in 10 different languages make it popular silent revolution is happening multi bhashi that's how it is going to be next slide next slide into them ekta jaju Ah, what what is uh, what is great about this? It's all about organic farming. Whenever I come to Mahatma Gandhi University from day one, whenever they invite me, I'm always one phone call away, uh, one SMS away. We stop there. Invariably, they make the vehicle to stop there. They feed me with excellent breakfast. Uh, everything is organic. Be it dosa or idli or whatever that is going to be there. That's how. So this girl, way back in 2012, she could make forays to organic farming. It has a huge potential. People are prepared. to pay premium for all these pulses and grains and vegetables and greens etc etc that's how it is going to be now uh so go to the next slide these these are all the people ultimately the takeaways from the five day fdp whether i i spoke or professor vijay reddy or janaiya chatna garu prasanna kumar garu or ramesh or vishwanath or pbj kamuti or yesterday nagaraj garu my god so exhaustive but i think today morning today morning rural youth today morning rural youth and employ like hundreds of slides we have seen behind all these presentations all these lecture sessions interactive lecture sessions there's only one thing that is going to be the undercurrent the undercurrent is going to be all these people have got modest uh, beginnings and then mostly rural area and all of them must have made use of at least one jugaad principle before they could really make it a success that's how all these things are embodied in the next slide what is the next one uh, some more names are there gunamati chandrasekharan what are satpute sopita tamuli si baby assam northeast anita gupta all these people when about the what is the next slide uh, next slide uh, <clears throat> and that's it there she has come up with uh, a, a, a brand name called guna but a quilling quilling i don't know how many people can understand quilling quilling is all about feathers and others so she is able to come up with uh, using this particular uh, um, the service of the artisan the skills uh, the workmanship the aesthetics of these artisans uh, she could really come up with the uh, cards and miniature figure jewelry many things greeting cards wall art uh, you may be in walmart but we are more interested in wall art so that's how it is going to be now next one see 2000 artisans next slide two artisans are working under her supervision over no go to the next one yeah. 
then uh, what is it satpute she 30 years old now maybe uh, she what what is what is so very great about it um uh, lamps is all all about uh, lighting a lamp in the dark uh, families and the dark uh, lives of all these people not literally i was only saying it uh, uh, that is here yeah, when she realized that there is a huge local market for the lantern the lamps uh, i think she could really capitalize on that see in telugu there is going to be uh, an adage which says that uh, for poetry no theme no topic uh, uh no issue no problem no challenge he is unsuited so same with the kid got to that for local market for rural markets rural masses rural employment for mining the mindsets of the masses nothing is impossible nothing is not unviable it is enviable available and it is sustainable so next one next one i think you got the next slide sobita sobita what is what is great about sobita oh that's it So, so it is easy to collect the leaves i think there are million there are lakhs of people who are going to be dependent on tea leaves all those things uh, coffee leaves etc and also in to tobacco or sometimes what is it to bd bd leaves but this particular lady she could really come up with a product which is going to weigh about 5 kilos and she is going to charge 50 rupees and these are the leaves which are going to be prepared with the help of gobar that is cow dung banana leaf uh banana leaves uh, banana plant remains uh, earthworms fallen 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 leaves all these things uh, we think the dried leaves we simply uh, put them to fire we light up uh, matchsticks that but no longer is needed go to next one ah uh, babi ben rabari i don't know what what her name so this is going to be she is from gujarat she is from the name itself you can make out she is from gujarat i forgot uh, she is into embroidery business she embroidery business though she is not a graduate she no discrete study she never has any formal education but she could really she could really give jobs to so many people so this habit is going to be the ladies wing they are going to be making exceptional unusual extra the contributions uh, for entrepreneurs of small towns uh, just one lady's brilliant idea with with all <laughs> with these things uh, so she could create employment opportunity for 60 women uh, and then they become strong skilled independent and then and then self reliant self sufficient next one last one i think we'll stop there already ah exactly uh, anita gupta anita gupta hailing from ara bihar anita gupta founded the, the bhojpur mahila kala kendra what is this all about this ngo it is a it is a non government organization nothing to the government it receives funds maybe but 25000 people are going to be there 400 skills yesterday some gentleman was asking sir how skills are being imparted and uh, today the gentleman who was giving us the agricultural uh, agri entrepreneurship opportunities uh, i am specially talking to that webinar attendee that participant every day participant doctorate every day he keeps putting questions so for him see how training is happening everywhere in every sector in every domain every line of business every activity that summit is going to be it is no exception self help groups are there not only in andhra pradesh and our chandrababu naidu is also going to bihar and the 300 women are going to be the members of that so that summit is he has started tata institute of social sciences dc handcraft government of india people these are the people uh, uh, they provide support to these people uh, that this ngo looking at the contribute that making the indian economy especially the rural economy are we done one more i think uh, i did not because somebody has talked about uh, manisuk bhai jagani yesterday or day four exhaustively uh, i don't want to uh, sir we have studied this we have already seen this just look at him and then for, just remember him next slide what did he do that motorcycle that's it ah royal field that that's the story ah the details are there that that's it if no you don't know he has patent to this particular product he went to usa repeat uh, generally i'm uh, so that you remember his face go to the next one uh and once again this is all about closer quotes are going to see people have talked again and again about this today also i have talked about it i don't know but his name is once again manush bhai patel but the latter name is different that is going to be prajapati from gujarat next one is a story is there i removed them and put them at the end so that you don't curse me hey sir you are repeating you are repeating over over thank you very much but don't ask me any questions Yes, that that summit is going to be. That summit is going to be. That's all about. That's all about. As I told you, as I told you. 
uh, it's all about. So, uh, let me last a few lines. I'll speak. Uh, we had had a fruitful session, highly engaging session, motivating sessions, uh, and uh, really uh, interactive sessions, uh, to, be, uh, to, uh, to say the least. Uh, <coughs> starting a business, more so a role enterprise, a role entrepreneurship, uh, um, for that matter. Uh, generally, it's going to be scary. But after listening to five days of all these resource persons, having seen a few hundred slides, uh, it is no longer going to appear to any one of you to make it scary. Unless you are weak-minded, if you are strong-minded, you can easily see the journey through. Okay, this could be one thing. And some of these rural entrepreneurs are more successful than others, and they are able to excel in doing a thriving business, not simply surviving business. Maybe because of the opportunity that they could create, and 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 because of the sheer attitude they have exhibited, they possess an attitude. They exhibit the they demonstrated the attitude. That's why they could really succeed. Because what is this attitude? Attitude is a way of thinking. It's your mindset, a philosophy, an ideology. Value system, your work ethic, not ethics, work ethic, your approach to life, your approach to employment, all these things are really going to keep you. And so let me let me just wind up my session by saying that a mindset is a set of assumptions, methods, notations, insights, reflections, and for the people, about the people, for the groups, and of the people. That's how it is going to be. It is the way you view the world. It's a world's view. It's a cognitive fact. It is not a myth. It is the truth. It is going to be how you perceive the world through your five senses. Huh? That's how it is going to be. So you have to have entrepreneurial thinking. That is an ability to see the things differently from the way others are viewing at it. Then only you are different from others, distinctly different from others for the rest of the world. That's how it is. It's necessary that you have to have a mindset. Thank you very much. I can go on. Don't allow me. Say stop it, sir. Otherwise, my God, I, I'm a non-stop nonsense fellow. We can't Please say stop, like that. sir. Huh? That's how it is. Any queries? Hmm. Okay. Thank you, sir. It was a wonderful okay. inspiration for all of us. We are amazed as usual by your presentation and enthusiasm. Thank you so much, sir, for your delightful lecture. We look forward I'm to much more in the future. <laughs> senior citizen, as a very soon, I'm going to become super senior citizen. Okay. I'm an oldie. I'm a baldy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ravi, sir, can we go ahead with valedictory or? Inform Ravi that I have covered the 12 women completely. Amo, otherwise you will. <laughs> Bye. And mute me. Mute me. Mute me. Mute me. Participants will start the valedictory in two minutes.
A very good evening to all the dignitaries, my fellow colleagues, researchers, and all the participants of this five faculty development program on rural entrepreneurship organized by the Department of Management Studies, Mahatma Gandhi University, in collaboration with AICT Training and Learning Academy. Hi, Dr. Shweta, Assistant Professor in the Department of Management Studies on behalf of Mahatma Gandhi University, welcome you all to this valedictory session. Rural development is the process of improving the quality of life and economic well-being of people living in rural areas. Rural development is more than ever before linked to entrepreneurship. Nowadays, institutions and individuals promoting rural development see entrepreneurship as a strategic development intervention that could speed up the rural development progression. Rural entrepreneurs play a vital role in the overall economic development of the country. Entrepreneurship stands as a vehicle to improve the quality of life for individuals, families, and communities to sustain a healthy economy and environment. So, as there is an urgent need to promote entrepreneurship in rural areas, this FDP is planned to throw light on the importance of teaching community in promoting rural entrepreneurship and intended to orient the participate, participants on the scope, opportunities, and challenges of rural entrepreneurship. This five-day faculty development program conducted from 23rd November to 27th November of 2020 was organized as per the directions and guidelines of Atel Academy. From the feedback from the participants, I proudly say this FDP has met the objective and it's a grand success. The session was handled by professors and industry personnel from reputed organizations and industry like Mahatma Gandhi National Council of Rural Education, Palle Srujana, Akshara Foundation, ICAR, Manage, Agriclinic, and from the universities like University of Hyderabad, Professor Jayshankar Telangana State Agricultural University, Nalsar, and Usmania University. The FDP was attended by more than 140 participants who belong to different faculties and research scholars from all the corners of India. This pandemic made it possible for all of us, for many of the participants, to utilize this opportunity as it is conducted online. With the permission of the chair, a brief note on this five-day journey. The FDP program was inaugurated in the morning of 23rd November and was graced by Dr. W.G. Prasanna Kumar, Chairman, MGMCRE, and Professor Yadagiri, Registrar of Mahatma Gandhi University. The first session of day one took its elegance with the talk by Dr. W.G. Prasanna Kumar on the role of educational institutions in upbringing the rural entrepreneurs. The speaker discussed on infrastructure development, empowerment, and eradication of poverty. It is even discussed from the point of view of importance of rural development in India, where the objective is to alleviate poverty and unemployment, with few recommendations being made on involvement of academicians, business, and social entrepreneurs. Followed by the session on opportunities and challenges of rural entrepreneurs, where Indian mindset challenge in moving to rural India, family challenges, financial challenges, technological challenges faced by the rural artisans and farmers were discussed. This session was handled by Dr. Chetan Srivastava, who inspired our participants by quoting the success stories of Vergis Kurian, the milkman of India, Anshu Gupta, founder of Goons, Chintakindi Malaysham, inventor of Lakshmi Asu machine, and many stories of women entrepreneurs. The post-lunch session was delivered by Professor Aldas Janaya, who threw light on agricultural policies from the year 1950, and even the discussion went on the new farm bills on India. The first session of the day two was graced by the lecture by Professor Vidyada Reddy on creative entrepreneurship. The session went on with the discussions on how a creative entrepreneur varies from conventional business ventures. The new next session was on the approach followed by Palle Srujana in exploring opportunities in rural India, where it is emphasized on becoming an entrepreneur with the nearby accessible assets. This was del delivered by Brigadier Ganesham, president of Palle Srujana organization. The post lunch session of day two was on the framework of rural entrepreneurship in India, while how it gets influenced by the social, cultural, and political settings of a nation. This was delivered by Sri Muralidhar of Akshara Foundation. The day three took its eminence with a talk by Sri oh. Ramesh Vimuganti, a well-known global trainer on mining the mindsets of masses towards the rural entrepreneurship. He shared the vital competencies and qualities an entrepreneur should possess, such as high capability, skill, proficiency in various fields, innovative thinking, flexibility, adaptability, and most primarily, 
professional selling skills. His lucid PowerPoint presentation and relevant examples galvanized the participants. The next session was on rural entrepreneurship in digital era by Dr. Kokanda Vishwanath. He shared his views and the role about the role played by technology in rural entrepreneurship and the gap between urban and rural entrepreneurs. He stressed the importance of government initiatives in rural areas towards digital literacy and continuous skill training programs for educating the youth. The next session was on the startups and innovations in agribusiness sector. This session was effectively handled by Shri PVGK Murthy, Senior Consultant Manage. He shared his insights about various facets of agribusiness sector in India. He elucidated the scope of rural entrepreneurs in agribusiness and agri commodities export sector. His vivid PowerPoint presentation and interactive discussion encouraged the participants to be active and receptive. The first session of the fourth day was by prominent speaker, Professor A. Surya Narayana, on rural development in India through rural entrepreneurship. This session emphasized on how entrepreneurship is basis of survival and how it addresses the inequalities of income and for the balance of regional development. The second session was on the microfinance and rural entrepreneurship in India by Professor Nageshwar Rao, where he discussed the qualities required to have successful life or career in this endeavor and on how microfinance can create rural entrepreneurship. Overall, the session was very interactive. The post lunch session of day four was on entrepreneurship development in livestock and poultry sector by Dr. Navina. He shared about the value of output from the livestock sector to Indian GDP. He emphasized on the beautiful analysis about contribution of livestock to rural household income. He patiently answered various queries of the participants. To care for the emotional well-being of the participants in this pandemic situation, session on anxiety management by Mr. Vamshi Krishna Reddy from Art of Living is organized on the fifth day. It started with a very thoughtful quote, every ill has a pill and every pill has an ill. The session continued on enlightening our participants with the present day myths and the importance of mind, breath and pranayama. The following session was an agri-entrepreneurship for rural youth handled by Sri Nagaraju from agri clinics. Sir discussed on promotion of agriculture, horticulture, animal husbandry and fisheries. Sir spoke on the prospects of corn, maize and food processing industries and the employment generation in the industry. This five day FDP ended with a wonderful session on case studies of successful entrepreneurs of India by Professor Surya Narayana. Sir has highlighted the Jugaad principles and Jugaad innovations in day to day life. Then success stories of many rural entrepreneurs of India like Mansukh Bhai Patel, Jyoti Reddy were discussed. All the sessions were very informative. The discussed topics are of great benefit to the participants as the part topics are the need of the hour for the nation. And after receiving a tremendous response from the participants about the sessions and the speakers, this five day faculty development program on rural entrepreneurship came to an end with this valedictory session. Before asking the response from the participants, I would like to thank Honorable Vice Chancellor of MGU, Sri Arvind Kumar IAS, and our Registrar, Professor M. Yadagirigaru, for permitting us to organize this program, and our sincere thanks to Dean, Faculty of Management, and Dr. Ravi Aluwala, Chairman Board of Studies, and Dr. J. Suresh Reddy, Head of the Department of Management Studies, and all the faculty members and research scholars for their constant support throughout the program. I also thank AICT for this initiative to improve the competences of the faculties. There is a saying, if you are not learning every day, you need to find a better way to spend your day. By saying this, I assume this five days are spent wisely by the participants and took most of it. May I now request any of the participants to speak a few words about your experience for a minute or two. Any of the participants. You can share your hello. Hello. Huh? Hello. Yes. Huh? I'm audible, ma'am. Hello. Yes, yes, you're audible. Uh, my name is Dr. Sagar from uh, Symbasis Skills and Professional University, Pune. Hello. Yes, sir. You're I'm audible. audible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it was a really learning experience. All this was really good. Most of the speakers were uh, hello. I'm audible. Yes, sir. Yeah, all the speakers were very wonderful. Uh, we have got learning experience from this FDP. Many aspects of rural entrepreneurship, uh, we were not knowing about it. So we have got that aspect also. So I just wanted to thank you for arranging such a FDP. That is from my side. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay.
హలో మేడం హలో ప్రాణాయామాంక్ <laughs> thank you sir hello hello good evening ma'am yes ma'am uh, good evening to all the stakeholders of this friday fdp on rural entrepreneurship organized by department of management studies mahatma gandhi university nalgonda uh, telangana state in association with atal academy aict new delhi i am mrs lakshmi prabha assistant professor of management mahatma gandhi university takes the opportunity to give feedback actually this is not a feedback these are all my general observations in connection with this entire program i congratulate and thank the organizing team especially dr ravi alwala sir and dr ramesh kumar sir dr shweta madam and their entire team uh, in the success of the program and i also thank the principal uh, of university college of commerce and business management dr m sri lakshmi garu uh, for uh, permitting and also coordinating the entire team and uh, making this uh, uh, event in a grand success and uh, all the sessions are very wonderful madam and very informative and also thought provoking and the selection of resource person is utmost good and i really wonder uh, whatever the schedule given at this platform uh, implemented as it is without any changes uh, you know very well organizing a single day event itself is a very difficult task in the present uh, pandemic situation but all the five day sessions without skipping a single resource person and a Uh, session really it is a great job on part of the organizing team and as we know uh, what great work we have done and all the way and starting with uh, dr wg prasanna kumar to uh, the last session uh, which was delivered on the successful entrepreneurs special focus on women entrepreneurs by professor e. surna and all the resource persons uh, and as a co participant on behalf of on behalf of all the participants Uh, i give assurance whatever the takeaways are here we will transform it to the students and community i once again thank all the stakeholders uh, for giving me this opportunity thank you so much madam and it's over to you thank you thank you hello ma'am. hello yes. madam yes yes madam i am actually from a pharmacy stream and recently they formed uh, they formed a rural entrepreneurship cell in our college and i was having no idea of what this was actually so i joined this nt uh, this fdp to have a knowledge about what actually rural entrepreneurship is and i would like to thank all the organizers for giving me an idea about the topic so that i can impart the knowledge to my students and my colleagues thank you very much thank you ma'am hello hello yes sir hello this is pavan kumar madam from sri venkateshwar engineering college surya pet okay sir so yes. uh, sessions were excellent and uh, program is excellent madam and uh, which enlightened and enriched us uh, not only in rural uh, entrepreneurship management in other areas also i thank uh, the organizers uh, and as well as the speakers thank you thank you sir Oh, can I can accommodate another one or two participants. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Ma uh, good evening, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much for organizing such a energetic and uh, knowledgeable uh, FTP. We are so thankful to organizers, especially all resource persons are so energetic. That's why uh, we connect. Uh, we uh, all the time we are connected with this uh, FTP, not for attendance. but for the content content basically content is so good and uh, you people organize this uh, fdp in a beautiful manner well planned well organized thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much ma'am i think we are fine we are i'm going forward may I now request our seminar director Dr. Nev Sri Lakshmi, Principal, University College of Commerce and Business Management, to address the participants. I request the participants to please mute the microphones. Very good evening to one and all. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you are audible.
Ma'am, you are not audible now. You please unmute, ma'am. Just all the participants got muted. Please unmute. Yeah. Very good evening to one and all. Respected registrar, Professor Ami Adigiri Garu, Honorable Vice Chancellor Arvind Kumar IAS Garu, Respected Coordinator Alwal Ravi, my fellow colleagues in the department, Head of the Department, Dr. Suresh Reddy, Veta, and other participants, resource persons, professors, what not, everybody. From my heartfelt thanks to one and all for participating and making this program a great grand success. Five days in the beginning, it was waiting when this program will get over, when this program will get over. But now at the end, at least two more days or three more days, it would have been there to have a wonderful resource persons to interact. So for making this program grand success, technical persons behind this program, research scholars, faculty members, uh, basically the technology has played major role in this pandemic situation, which has enabled worldwide people come together on one platform, which is rural entrepreneurship for five days. I'm very happy with the feedback given by the participants. I'm thankful to the, all the resource persons as Professor Vidyadha Redigaru, Prasanna Kumar Garu, Chetan Srivastava, Surya Narayana sir, and other professors. Apart from this, we had international speakers and trainers, Kokanda Vishwanath, Ramesh Vemuganti, who also have taken part from other part of the world. Then I would like to thank the people, uh, Principal Jane Garu, PVGK Murthy from Manage, Suranarayan Garu, Dr. Naveena, Vamshi Krishna Reddy, Nagaraju and others. I think today is in the morning session, most of the participants, respondents have given their feedback as excellent, wonderful. They want to have a one day program instead of one hour or one and a half hours. So we may plan, so Dr. Ravi sir, you can plan for this program one day or two days program for the interest of participants, you can think over it. So finally, I thank all the participants, those who have scored very good marks or passed, not passed, that doesn't matter for you. It's only the inculcating knowledge and interacting with the people enables you to gain the knowledge. Certificate may not be the uh, required for all the time. So think over it in case any other program is there, you can again get the certificate. Certificates you can get it, but the knowledge person, resource persons, the knowledge you may not gain in the same way from all the programs. So thank you one and all for giving me the opportunity. I thank Shweta particularly for introducing as well as giving feedback at the end of this particular program. Thank you. Thank you one and all. Thank you so much, ma'am. May I now invite the chief guest of the program, Professor M. Yadagiri Garu, Registrar, Mahatma Gandhi University. Sir has around three decades of teaching experience. His area of specialization is accounting and finance. Six doctoral degrees are awarded under his guidance. Sir has published more than 70 research articles and published 47 books to his credit. Sir is even editor and member of editorial board in many journals. Sir is even a member of NACPAIR team to assess and accredit it accredit higher education institutions. I request sir to address the participants. Welcome sir. Thank you Dr. Seta. Thank you sir. The coordinator of this five day FDP program, Dr. Alwala Ravi, the director of the FDP program, Dr. Sri Lakshmi Garu, and all the 
organizing team members of Department of Business Management, Mahatma Gandhi University, and all the fellow participants. So, good evening to all. Good evening. At the outset, I thankful to the Atal Academy, AICT, for sanctioning two FDP programs to Mahatma Gandhi University in Nalgonda. We feel it is a proud and a prestigious assignment given by the AICT Training and Learning Academy to our university. Though it is a, a newly established state university, so I can say it is one of the fast growing universities in the country. Here the first FDP was uh, organized on data analysis using SPSS during October 5th to 9th, 2020. It was very excellent and successfully organized by all our coordinating members, coordinator and director. With that uh, enthusiasm and encouragement, the second FDP on rural entrepreneurship was initiated by the coordinator, Dr. Alwal Ravi, in an excellent manner. Particularly, I appreciate the efforts made by all the team members for choosing the right topic in the right time. Friends, we know we are suffering a lot with the COVID-19 from March 2020 onwards. With the effect of this uh, corona, in the worldwide, most of the business firms, manufacturing uh, centers shut down their business activities. And most of the employees and common people so became unemployed and suffering with the different types of the livelihood problems. In this situation, the Honorable Prime Minister has uh, announced the Atma Nirbhar Abhyan. It is a self-reliant India mission. The main aim of this uh, Atma Nirbhar Abhyan is to inculcate the, the skills from the rural people, to encourage the rural people to establish the rural business units in the form of rural entrepreneurship. Then only we can attain our self-reliance. For that, our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced and released the so 20 lakhs crores of uh, rupees for encouragement and uh, so initiation for the rural entrepreneurship in for rural people. So the, uh, to encourage the rural entrepreneurship or initiation of the rural entrepreneurship is not enough for its sustainability. We have to give the a proper input for the sustainable development. For that, the Modi appealed to all Indians, 1.3 billion of Indians, so to boycott the imported products and services and use the products made in India and promote them. This is a strong statement given by the Indian Prime Minister. His intention is here. We vocal for our local. 
this is a very good slogan given by the uh, narendra modi for the encouragement of this uh, rural entrepreneurs in response of this uh, narendra modi statement most of the national and multinational corporate firms come forward come forwarded to building the rural entrepreneurs by establishing the special branches special business units in rural india we can identify the number of examples one is the csc and coca cola india tata power banket bunavat like this here number of so multinational companies initiated the rural entrepreneurship activities in the rural areas since the independence the government of india has implemented different policies and schemes for the support and development of rural entrepreneurship but could not attain the desired results due to various reasons there is a need to apprise the rural entrepreneurship development schemes and programs by the government in order to get the desired results in rural areas in this connection i hope that all of you are enjoyed during all technical sessions where the experts delivered their uh, lectures and opinions and live examples to encourage the people to come forward for the rural entrepreneurship i hope that certainly you have gained some knowledge and a lot of information regarding the rural entrepreneurship during these 5 uh, days but my friends i sincerely appeal to all of you just by attending listening and acquiring the information is not enough if you transform the same to your fellow colleagues your neighbors your students in the classroom then only the ultimate objective will be realized i hope that all of you are the teachers certainly you have to deliver the lectures regarding this uh, rural entrepreneurship and to encourage the so our uh, students to divert into the rural entrepreneurship activities then only the objective of the atmanirbhar bharat as well as the objective of the faculty development program organized by this uh, mahatma gandhi university will uh, give the fruitful results uh, to the people i hope it will be certainly effective and uh, all the participants certainly transform their ideas to their students and neighbors so to encourage the uh, rural entrepreneurship so once again i heartily congratulate the the coordinator director and organizing team of this five day faculty development program i also thanks all the resource persons who delivered their lectures in a effective manner by taking the different types of live examples to motivate all the participants and i also thanks all the participants who participated from all the corners of the country so once again i congratulate all of you for giving this opportunity to sharing my ideas with your intellectual group so thank you one and all i wish you all the best
thank you sir we are privileged with your presence for this valedictory session thank you once again may i now request the program coordinator dr ravi aluwala to address the participants with a vote of thanks good evening one and all respected chief guest of the valedictory program i'm sorry adigiri sir director of the fgp program and sri lakshmi my dear learned colleagues my department head dr suresh reddy and behind the program backbone to my program mr ramesh kumar sir and all the faculty members who have participated in this program good evening one and all first of all i would like to say thanks for atal academy for for providing an opportunity for me to conduct this fdp program on rural entrepreneurship i strongly believe that till today 68 to 70% people are living in rural areas but we are not tapping the knowledge of rural youth people so my main focus to conduct this program is we have to tap the untapped knowledge of the rural youth in this connection we have applied for atal immediately atal has given an opportunity to conduct this program because our university is located purely local area and our students are first generation uh, first generation educated people in this area particularly in telangana for that also i am very, very much thankful to conduct this program we tried our level best to bring the different exposure and knowledge to people to give their lectures to inculcate knowledge in the participants participants are also extended their support by attending every time 100 to 120 people of strength for every each and every session for that also i am very much thankful and i extending my heartful thanks to all the participants i would say my all congrats all thanks to my department people those who are behind me back to supported me to conduct the program in a successful manner last but not least my even my sub staff also extended their support to conduct the manner in a systematic process once again i wish you all the best and thank you very much thank you one and all Thank you, sir. I I think the participants can now leave the session. The feedback form you need to uh, fill in the Atal website and. Sir Ravi, sir, would you like to continue? Please, madam. Please announce it. The participants have to submit the feedback form in the Atal website, and after submitting the feedback form. You, your certificate will be available in the same website after 20, after one working day. Ma'am, could you please uh, give the link for that? I am not.